Well, welcome back to Python scripting for GIS applications. This is a class at the University of Alaska Fairbanks, and it's spring semester 2013. In this session, I want to teach you how to parse paths and feature class names. So here's an example. Let's say for example, we have a variable called input feature class, and it contains a string. And then we might want to use a tool like arcpy.create feature class. And that requires an output path, and then it requires an output name. So what we might want to do is grab the path from this string, and then also grab the name from this string, and then add some text to it to create a new feature class. So there's basically two ways we could do this. One way would be to use the Python module os.path. So once we import that Python module os.path, we could create, for example, outpath equals os.path dot get the directory name from this string. And we could say, out name equals some text, let's say buffer 25 meters plus os.path base name, this string. My bad. So there should be an quotes and then plus. Okay, so now we've parsed from this string the path and the name of the feature class, and we added to the name of the feature class some other text. So now if we look at our path, we have the container that feature class is sitting in, and if we look at our output name, we have the original feature class name, and then we added the text to it. So then we can use the arcpy create feature class. So it's arcpy create feature class, the name of the container we're going to create our feature class in. So in this case will be out path and the name of our new feature class. So in this case it'll be out name. Okay, so it ran the create feature class geoprocessing tool and if we want to see the results we could do the arcpy get messages. So basically it did execute that tool successfully and it took two seconds to create that feature class. Okay, so that is one way you can parse from an input string the path and the base name. The second way you can parse the path and the base name is to describe an existing feature class using arcpy.describe. So that will create a describe object. We can call it whatever we want. I'll call it describe object equals arcpy.describe. And this has to be an existing feature class. So now this describe object will have a variety of properties. So for example, we could say full name is equal to this describe object dot catalog path. We could say the layer path is equal to our describe object dot path and layer name is equal to describe object dot base name. So then we could say print full name layer path layer name. So the full name is the path and the feature class name and then the layer path variable contains this and then the layer name variable contains this. So we could make a variable out layer equals whatever you want to have as a string plus our existing layer name. So then we could run that create feature class. So that's going to require the path so in this case, it's layer path and some new name. So in this case, the new name will be out layer. So it executes the create feature class and it creates this new feature class in that output path. Okay, so for our next video session, what I want you to do is write a script tool where the user basically either picks a layer from the table of contents in ArcMap or it browses to a feature class and then extract the layer path and then add some text to the existing feature class 
and then create a new feature class in that same location where input is stored at. So in other words, in the layer path location. And I'll go over the solution to that in start of our next video session.